Hey, hey, what's going on, Knife Nerds? I got the Vostid Psyops here, designed by Jeff Blavelt of Tough Knives. And, man, have I been enjoying this piece. Been carrying it for the whole weekend. And, really, I have nothing to complain about. It's The action is perfect. The ergos, great for my hands. I don't feel the clip. I mean, I know it's there, but it's not a hot spot. The action is phenomenal. The lockup is solid. Yeah, I don't really have anything to complain about this knife. Except that it's not a lefty. That's about it so far. Um, let's take my part. Let's see the inside. Let's see the engineering of this lock. It's done very well. It's so solid. I don't feel any... Any movement, any shakes. <laughs> I have so much faith and confidence in this lock. It just feels really good. Man. Anyways, let's get to it. I gotta get to work soon. T8's all around. At least on the outside. I don't know what's inside. Maybe T6s. So I'm gonna keep a T6 around just in case. But I know there's some screws that's probably holding in this lock bar. Okay. Alright, so let's get in there. Um, since the pivot's over here, I'll start off with the clip side. Hopefully, I don't have too many issues unscrewing things. Uh, Vostid does use Loctite, so let's hope I don't have too much Loctite on my piece. All right, good. No issues there. Yeah, you see that? Some Loctite all up in there. Let's organize things. we go. Look at that clean work. Beautiful stuff. So there's the clip screws. It's on the inside. Nice. You know, as a righty, I actually don't mind having my show side um, have the option for lefty button. I mean, lefty clip. I mean, I, I just want lefties to have opportunity to carry these beautiful pieces. All right, so there's a screw. Let's see. That's a T6. Okay, so you do need a T6 for the inside. Yep. Okay, let me see how this goes. So it looks like I can take this lock bar out. I don't want to yank it. I'm just going to make sure. Okay. Careful the blade. I don't want that thing to swing off. Come on now. I think it's being held in by the back. I don't see any screw that's... There we go. Let me show you this piece. This one's kind of cool. So this is the liner. This is where the bar goes. There you go. There's the bar. So that's cool. The liner or the lock bar flows in between that slot. Oh, there we go. In the right into the blade. Now this is where, when I say I have all the faith in this lock, is because of this. So much different than a liner lock. Yes, this is a top liner lock, but instead of just kind of um, touching the tang of the blade, it's actually into the tang of the blade. There's a stop pin right there too, so that's oop, there goes the pivot from the other end. Might as well just knock those guys out. Alright. So yeah, you see that? So the lock bar goes right in there and it, it just holds it in there. It's not going anywhere. And that's why the lockup feels so solid, so secure. Essentially like a bank vault. It's no side to side, up and down. Oh yeah, did I mention? LMAX. LMAX, Tough Knives logo. Anyways, let's get to it. So, let me see. So it looks like I can just pull this off. Can I? The engineering seems pretty tight. Alright, good. I 
there's a lock bar. So there's a pin that goes into there, into the back spacer also. I wonder if you can take this off. It's in there pretty good, so I'll leave it there. So the other screw is for the button. So we don't need to take it off. You guys can see how it works, right? Well, pretty self-explanatory. Alright. Press that and all right, cool. Let's get the rest apart. Gotta get to work. And uh, this build is is essentially pretty simple. Um, I can't say that it's difficult. Look at it; it's basic. How ingenious! How efficient! And that's one thing I like. Um, I like efficient builds. <gasps> okay, this one's turning a bit, so I think this one has Loctite. Um, we don't need to take that apart. You guys already know. Okay, that one comes out. You know what? I'll just leave that in. I don't think you guys need to see the the other liner. It's pretty basic. All right, so let's get things to back together. And then I won't be late for work. Backspacer. Good. Got the pin that's there. What else do I need? I'm going to need... I guess I'll put the stop pin in afterwards. Yeah, this build is very simple. Boom. <laughs> I'm almost there. All right, so this is a, oh, okay, so there's a collar. Just be careful of that. One thing I didn't see was any washers, so we don't have to worry about washers, just the bearings. Get that in, stop pin. Go. Yeah, really good, efficient, simple design. Maintenance is quick. Be careful of the pivot. You can push it out. It's it's not like in there tightly, but it fits. No shakes, no movements. Hey, look at there we go. We're done. And I won't be late for work. So this this knife, without me talking, you can take it down in a few minutes. Put it back together. Um, I could probably take apart the whole thing uh, if the other side wasn't Loctited in. Yeah. Really good design. I really like it. All right. And it looks stronger than a, than a normal, traditional liner lock. All right, it's a little slow. Let's loosen things up a bit. No movement at all. Yeah, it's super smooth, super clean. Highly recommend it. <sighs> I like it. Let's compare this to some other Vostids, the sizes. There's the Dachshund, Dachshund. Vostid RS Chaos. So it's not a small piece. Let's get this out the way. Yeah, now you guys can see the size comparisons. I, I gotta say, I really like Vostid's premium work. Um, I haven't had any issues, any complaints. I really just love their premium titanium work. It's done so well. Still, my favorite is the Daxon. Maybe the Psyops will take its place, but for my taste, I really like the Daxon. It's it's so well done so well. It's got to be one of my favorite pieces. I love the Ars Chaos. It's just in a shape where I can't carry it too often. It's more novelty, uh, more collector's piece. But man, it's such a monster. It's very solid. I'm telling you, this top liner lock is solid. It's super solid. I need to see more pieces with that. It's I can't complain. All right, guys, have a great one.